Welcome to the Coordinated Charities training videos. We have four quick videos for you to watch and then you will be a pro at using this website. So just to start off I want to give you a basic overview of the tools that we provide for you here on this website. And there are three main tools. The charity request form, the charity recipient list here, and the warnings list. So let's start with the charity request form. So I'm going to click on document downloads. And this form comes in a Microsoft Word document that you can actually edit if you needed to. And it also comes in a PDF format, which, you know, if you're on a Mac or a PC, should work just fine for you. So let's just click on the charity request form PDF to show you what that looks like. This little piece of paper is what you give to people when they come to your church or charity asking for donations or for help. And this piece of paper asks them for their driver's license number, their full legal name, things that you would need to know before you go giving them money or food or utilities, things like that. So this form is extremely important for you because when people come in asking for help, if they are sincere, if they really do need help, they're going to be willing to fill out this paperwork. If they are not sincere, if they're trying to scam you out of money, they will turn around and walk out the door as soon as you hand them something like this because they don't want to be, you know, they don't want anyone to call their bluff. Um, there are going to be people who have mental disabilities that can't fill out a piece of paper like this, maybe people who are illiterate, other special circumstances, but for the most part, everyone who you help should be able to fill out this basic information here. And one of the most important things about this um, sheet is that there's a release form on the second page of it and if they sign and date that it gives you permission to upload their information onto the website as well as check to make sure all the things that they were telling you all the stories they told you were in fact true so if they said they got in a car wreck you can check with the hospital and uh, verify that so very important tool probably the most important tool on the website is the charity request form which again can be found in the document download section. The charity recipient list is top secret. When I click on this, it's going to make me log in. Um, I need a username and password to, to see the charity recipient list. And if you do not have a username and password, you can sign up for one by hitting the sign up button and filling out this information here. And we will send you a username and password for your charity. So once you have that, you will put that in here and log in and now we see the charity recipient list and there's only one person in this list right now and he's actually a fake person named Joe Nathan that I invented for this little tutorial here and by the time you get to this there'll be hundreds of them probably by the time you start using this website and there will be 50 on a page and the list goes alphabetically so if there's 50 on this page there'll be a next button down at the bottom you hit the next button and you'll see the next 50 and so you can easily once you know somebody's name you can easily look them up and if I click on Joe Nathan here I can see his driver's license number his address his phone number and the other charities who have helped him in the past and what they did to help him and a bunch of information about him so I can look that information up when I'm deciding whether or not I am going to help Joe Nathan and I will be assisted in that decision making here in the warnings section is going to be a list of warnings so if you if you had someone come in and try and steal stuff from your church or something they came in asking for help and then they started causing trouble you can put up a warning about them here to warn all the other charities and churches in the area that there is a person that's trying to do something bad to them. And if I click on this warning, it will tell me about what happened and why we should be concerned. The warnings list, go back to that right real quick here, is not listed alphabetically, but it is listed the the most current warning is on top and the older warnings will be below so now that you understand the three basic tools that are provided to you on this website I'm gonna tell you the best way to use them there are four things you need to do when someone comes into your church requesting assistance number one give them 
the charity request form, which again is found here on the document downloads page. So print out one of these for them. We recommend you always have about 10 of them on hand so that you can uh, use them whenever needed. Have them start filling that out and then go up here to the top and type in their name. So if it was Joe, I'd type in Joe and I'd hit go. And if I'm logged in, he will appear right here. Um, I could have also found him by just going to the charity recipient list and going through the names alphabetically until I found Joe Nathan. You can also type in their phone number, you could type in their spouse's name, whatever piece of information you have about a person you can type in here and it will show up all the different accounts that have that same information in them. So um, you might find by typing in Joe Nathan's wife's name you might find Joe Nathan and you also might find his wife. They might each have their own account here with us. So step number one was give them the form. Step number two was look them up and read about them if they're in the list. Step number three is decide if you're going to help them or not and if so how are you going to go about helping them. Step number four is to get here onto the website and upload their information into our database so that other charities can see and know what kind of help they've already received from you so they can make a more educated decision on how to go about helping that individual. In the next video I will show you how to edit an account that's already here. So Joe Nathan's account here, I'll show you how to edit that. That's it for video number one.